Richard. Richard, Ray, how nice are you? To see you? Please Hi. call me Dick. All my Hi. friends do. <laughs> I'm Ray. Ray, good to see you. <laughs> My parents were uh, not of means. My dad was a, a machinist at the ironworks in, uh, in St. John. The most money he made uh, was 3000 and my mother did a lot of work in the, in the community. The thing I remember most was there was a new uh, YMCA going to be built in the city. I was about 10. and. Uh, my father and mother decided they were going to give $500, which, as you can see from their income level, was a, a handsome uh, gift. Yeah, that's 15% of annual income. Oh, yeah. Well, now, Ray, tell me about yourself. I recall going back from a very early age, my uh, grandfather always encouraging his grandchildren, including myself, uh, to Tuxu, in Hakka, that means to study. Yeah. And I've learned that over the years, education is the greatest equalizer. We always hear of uh, the glass being half full or half empty. Yeah. I think education creates a bigger glass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In my family life, giving and sharing was always there. In terms of my own philanthropy, uh, I don't think there was a, a moment of, you know, flash, you know, uh, I should give back. As I could afford it, I started to give back. If my parents were alive today, uh, they'd be happy with what I made in a, in a financial sense. But uh, they'd be... Uh, much more happy with what I gave. I focus on education and I look at the various uh, projects or objectives that are put in front of me. I look for something that I can have a significant impact. But most of all, I take a look at the people around it. You know, they have to be dedicated, have a passion for what they do, and invariably that's the deciding factor. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting you say that because your thoughts on that are exactly as mine. I look for people who are dedicated to uh, what they're doing. And I can understand that, that the passion is related to something that really is worth doing. Then uh, I'm, I'm very, very supportive of that. I think when you're, when you're giving money to anything, but particularly to education, you're assessing the people you're giving to yes. as much as the cause they're talking about. Well, you know, what attracted me to the UHN was actually a, an alum from my high school in Jamaica, Dr. Hoping Kong, Herbie Hoping Kong. Then I realized UHN was more than a, uh, an institution for medical care. It went beyond that. It went to teaching, and I later found out how much research they do. Mm -hmm. That was my first introduction to the UHN, and I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. The first time I went down to uh, uh, UHN and was shown through some of the facilities at the Wilson Center, what attracted me was there's, there's sort of a um, um, convergence of science and humanities. From that link comes uh, great teachers. The great teacher has an influence on so many yes. people that uh, the leverage, if you will, of a great teacher is enormous. And that's what attracted me to the, uh, to the research and education. Uh, that, that to me is the, the, the best thing about UHN. There are people from many disciplines working together. And I think that's a that's a rare thing in my, in my experience, and I'm very happy to see it. When you look at impact, many of the things that you and I have been involved in, uh, they're not short-term quick hitters. They're, they're a bet on the future. 
and it's a bet on these people and uh, the way they're being trained. And uh, I think we're doing the right thing. Yep. I think we are. Yep. It's amazing how different, how much of a different background we come from, but how much we are thinking alike. Good to be with you.